Hey guys, uh, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial here on psdevout.com YouTube channel. Uh, this is just a, a quick tutorial to show you how you can uh, create this very uh, nice and dramatic um, volcanic effect uh, on this uh, image in Photoshop. Uh, previously, I've made a tutorial uh, on this topic on psdevout.com, but um, uh, there's been some some questions about how to how exactly you can uh, apply this fire uh, uh, textures on the image to create this volcanic effect. Um, so um, here we go. Uh, I thought this uh, this video tutorial will explain this uh, technique a bit better. All right, let's get started. So. I'm just gonna turn off this layer for now because we're gonna start from scratch all right so as you can see we already got a, uh, a black and white um, mountain image which um, I have already applied the uh, a number of uh, adjustment layers uh, including the black and white and the level adjustments um, so we're just gonna focus on creating the 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 fire effects uh, on top of the this mountain texture. So um, <clears throat> to get started, we just need to uh, just load the the fire image into Photoshop. Um, the link uh, is on is on the original tutorial. Um, which uh, you can basically download from their website for free. Um, so it's just gonna select this uh, fire texture. The quickest, the, the probably the quickest way is to use the um, the magic wand tool. Click on that. Go to select inverse. Uh, as you can see now, we we basically select the entire uh, fire uh, texture. So it's gonna copy that and paste that onto our document. Um, as you can see, we already we got a, a huge fire texture here. So what you wanna do is to Control plus T and free transform that to a smaller size. So, also, if you right click inside the selection, you can distort the, uh, the texture. A little bit, just to um, create some perspectives. All right. So once you're happy with the uh, the size, um, grab a just grab a uh, a soft eraser. So I chose uh, around 100 pixel um, soft uh, eraser here. Um, basically add a, uh, a layer mask to this texture and just gently erase the edge a bit so that fades into the background I'm just gonna erase that a bit more um, so once you've done that, uh, change change the uh, the blend mode, the blend mode to um, vivid light. So as you can see, the textures change the. Um, into one of those uh, sparkle, sparkling and vivid uh, light. So we're just gonna erase the uh, the edge a bit more. So 
once you've done the first layer, what you can do is basically just duplicate the layer a bit more. Uh, sorry, duplicate the layer a few time, a few more times, and just move them around the canvas. Um, as you move the uh, the layers, um, you can use the free transform tool to um, adjust its shape. So that adds uh, some varieties into the textures. And also, uh, if you change the blending mode from vivid light to screen and reduce its opacity to about to around 20%, you can add a very nice uh, smoky effect to on top of the um, the fire texture so this creates a more dramatic effect for the image all right so basically that's the that's the uh, the gist of it and uh, so I'm just gonna show you the layer I have for the final result so as you can see I duplicate the layer a few more times and then just basically work uh, work the way around the mountain and then gradually form into a, um, a river uh, kind of shape so uh, that f that gives the uh, the image a, a bit uh, a bit of those uh, flowing effects. Um, so, as you can see, um, I also uh, have some fire textures here. Um, you can see the shape uh, is slightly different uh, from the center. Uh, that's because I applied uh, some distort effects uh, onto those layers, so they form into a different shape. So um, that's uh, that's basic, basically it. Um, all right, I hope uh, this this help uh, explain a few things, and uh, and uh, hope uh, you're enjoying this tutorial, and uh, we'll see you next time.